All right. Hi, gang. My name's Jeff Sabalski, and I had the best job in the world because I get to help lead the STLP program for the state of Kentucky, which means I get to help you get ready for level one project judging at regionals. So today I'm going to give you some helpful tips to help your project team get ready for November 16th, which is our level one regionals day. Let's get started. If you're not sure what we're even talking about with this project cycle stuff, remember we start with level one projects back at your school where you're presenting to folks work focusing in on your ideas regionals will be our stlp uh, level one project presentations our elevator pitches on november 16th and then you're hoping that judges will give you an opportunity to move forward with your project into level two and hopefully level three to maybe become a state champion at the STLP state championship in April of 2023. And then our state champs will move on to level four where you get to present your project on an international scale in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So we're gonna send you our state champs all the way to Philadelphia to talk about STLP, talk about your project and share all the great things that students in Kentucky are doing with technology with the world. By now, you certainly have done some of the work, the level I work, the implementation, the investigation, where you've done your implementation statement and you've decided what your project is about, what your problem you're addressing, all that good stuff, because now you're ready to move into level one stuff. And so you hear a lot about what is an elevator pitch, because we talk about Level one is not a full-blown presentation. Level one is simply an elevator pitch. And what does that even mean? So imagine somebody important, someone you're trying to convince, maybe these judges are on an elevator. The door opens up, you see the judges, you jump in and you think, okay, I've just got a couple of minutes before they get to the next floor and they decide to jump out to sell them on my project idea. So while you're in the elevator, you're gonna pitch your project idea to the judges. Makes sense? It's a short period of time and you really have to get to the highlights, the big points, the things that you want them to know. And so to help you get there, we have come up with seven guiding questions. You surely by now have seen that there is a, a rubric, which is a score sheet. It has the same questions and points that you can see uh, are exactly what the judges will be using. So there's no surprises. The judges are looking for things that are on the rubric. You have access to the rubric and the guiding questions. So there should be no surprises for what judges are looking for. And those guiding questions include uh, question about being an empowered learner. Why did you choose this issue? Why are you, what question are you trying to solve? What is the challenge in front of you? Who's going to benefit? Question two is about digital citizenship. How are you going to use the information and the materials and the media and the resources responsibly, safely, and in a positive way as part of your project? Under knowledge constructors, you're going to talk about what tools you're going to utilize. Remember uh, the, that T and STLP, you're going to talk about the tools, the technology, everything that you're going to use to share your project um, over the time between regionals and work on it uh, ahead of state. Question four is about what is your team gonna do? Okay, what are you gonna do to solve it? You've identified it, you've talked about what tools you're gonna use, but now what actions are you gonna take? What, what course of action are you gonna design to get your project to the next level that you want it to be? And how are you going to know through computational thinkers? How are you going to know if your project was successful? Come April, if you're at the state championship, how are you going to let judges know that, yeah, we kind of accomplished what we did? How are you going to measure your success? Number six, how are you going to tell the world about your project? Being a creative communicator, how are you going to let the world know outside of just your classroom, outside of your school, what you're doing to help the community, the world through your project? And then, of course, the last one is global collaborator. This is so important because who is going to help you with your project? Maybe outside of your school, in your community, somebody that is an expert in a field in something that has to do with your project. Maybe it's uh, another team that you're going to uh, you're going to share your project idea with and feed get some feedback from. Whatever you're doing to collaborate with folks outside of your classroom, this is where you address that. 
And so when you're building that pitch presentation, right, you've answered these guiding questions, you have them, you've used the resources to even write down your questions, you're going to do that. And remember, through the lens of telling judges about your project idea, your project could just be getting started. You may have only done one or two things on a large, large list of things that you're hoping to do by April. That's okay. You're just pitching your idea at this point. There's no expectation. This is a completed project. So just whatever you have on November 16th is what you share with your judges. But remember the T in STLP, as you're building that presentation, you're going to have to make some choices over the next few days on how you're going to share your presentation because we will be in a Google Meet, which means you're going to be on camera, on screen with judges, and there'll be three or four judges who are all around the state, all connected at the same time. You're going to get a meeting invite to the time, and you're going to jump in there, and you're going to give your pitch, and you have to think about what tools you're going to use to do that. A lot of folks will use a, a slide deck. You might share your screen uh, to a website that you're using. Maybe you'll pre-record a video. Um, there's lots of different options, but just remember, take advantage of this technology platform since we're doing it over Google Meet. What are the things on your computer that you could use to make your, your project presentation, your pitch, stand out from all the others? Um, if you need to get the logo, which you do, because it's an easy five points, go to stlp.education.ky.gov slash logo. You can use any logo that's there. You might have a custom logo at your school that you've created. As long as that STLP logo is proudly displayed somewhere in your presentation, you're going to get those five points. Don't make the judges look for it make it be right out there so they can't miss it so here's some tips for giving your pitch like i said we'll be using google meet and you're actually going to have a time like you're going to get a time sent to your stlp coach your teacher that says at 10 15 for example your window for meeting with judges will begin so what that means is have your entire team ready to go and jump on at 10 15 you'll have google meet running you'll have your camera running your microphone running and at 10 15 you'll jump in the judges will greet you and you need to be right on time don't be early because you might interrupt the team before you and if you're late you're just eating into your own 10 minute window so be ready be ready to jump in um Give the guided question responses. We went through those seven guided questions. You've decided how you're going to prepare that, how you're going to share that, do that. But always remember this. That's a 10-minute window total from the time you log in, get situated, talk to the judges, give your pitch, and answer questions. They're going to ask you all sorts of questions after you've given your pitch. So don't plan on a pitch that's a full 10 minutes long. Go in and think maybe five, seven minutes tops for your pitch and leave plenty of time for judges to ask questions and time to adjust if you have any technical difficulties. And speaking of that, before you get into your project pitch, here's some tips to keep in mind. Number one, find a space that is quiet and not going to have a lot of interruptions with people in the background. We know bells might ring in between classes. That's okay. Don't worry about that. But if you're right in the middle of, say, the library, that's a lot of background traffic that might get in your way. So maybe you could be in somebody's office or in a classroom that's not being used. Think about where you're going to be. Also, that Wi-Fi symbol. Think about your connectivity. Find the place where you have the most stable connection, and maybe you have to use a wired connection, STLP coaches. That's going to be your choice. The next part, uh, the tip is the microphone and the camera. Make sure judges can hear you. OK, you're going to have to speak up. Use your playground voice when you're talking to the judges. Make sure you know where the microphone is. And if you have an external microphone that will really make things better, go for it. Make sure that you have access to a charge uh, to make sure your battery is 100 percent or maybe you're plugged into the wall so that your your device doesn't run out of batteries while you're presenting. And last Please, please, please take as many opportunities to practice your presentation, share it, find people in the hallway, talk to your principal, uh, ask folks to come in from outside of school to hear you give your project pitch. Let them use that scoring rubric, the same one judges are going to use, set a timer, go for it. 
the more times you can present, the more comfortable you'll be when it comes time for it to happen. And here's what you got to know. You got to be prepared. There's going to be challenges. We know it. There's going to be technical difficulties. There's going to be, yeah, there will be a, you know, a fire drill at some school, maybe. Uh, there might be someone who is out sick for the day. You're going to be able to overcome those challenges. We recognize that those challenges will exist and we will extend grace. The judges are coming to help you get prepared and hopefully advance to level two. Our judges are instructed that their job is to listen to you and ask some cool questions. Their job is not to try and scare you, not to try and freak you out or try and make you stumble over your answers. What they want is to help you be successful and move on to the next level. That's the goal. They hope that everybody can do that, but patience is the key, okay? Practice, as much as you can so that you're ready when those technical difficulties pop up. But if something does happen, you have to know this is important. We will have a second chance opportunity. So if you talk to the judges and you have some trouble, there's some kids or some things, they have some they have some leeway to, to maybe move you to another time later in the day if you have to fix some technical difficulties. And if that doesn't work, then there are there will be a second chance day. And we'll talk about that later. I don't think we'll have to use that too often, but patience is key. Stay calm. And here's most important thing to remember, guys. When you are presenting your project, you are the teachers, okay? You're the expert in your project idea. You came up with it. You've researched it. You're doing the work for it, okay? You're the presenter. That means you're the teacher and the judges are the students. So just keep that in mind, okay? They don't know as much about your project as you do, so share with them what you know, and most importantly, I think you know what I'm gonna say, have fun with it, okay? You've got 10 minutes, you're working on it. This is just a launching point for your bigger project at the STLP State Championship. We want you to move ahead. We hope that you'll get there. Um, be prepared, follow the tips that we've just gone through, check all your tech, practice your presentation, answer the guiding questions, give your presentation on November 16th at the time that you're assigned, have fun. The feedback will come back to you as soon as we can possibly get it ready um, so that you'll know whether or not your team's ready to move on, you're on target, whether you're not quite ready, but there's a couple things you can fix and then resubmit, or three, maybe it's time to reboot this project and think about what we're gonna do next year. Don't worry about that now. Focus in on all the tips that we've given you and we'll see you on November 16th.